Infinite Saints of God. <clears throat> it's Tish Shell. The channel name here is Tish Shell. Shalom, brothers and sisters. I hope you guys are doing fine in the Lord. So just a very quick dream. I dreamt that I had yesterday that I had uh, a baby boy. And um, what's so weird is that Father showed me the name. The name of the boy was Nigel. Now, my ex-husband's name is Jamel. My middle name is Nichelle. But my mom has always given me the option to say, to call myself Nichelle, to pronounce it Nichelle, or Nichelle, or Nichelle. She always told me, you know, you can change it. But anyway, um, the, my son's name was Nigel. I saw my ex-husband walking with the baby, patting the baby. The baby was born. Okay, now, I thought it was very odd because never has father showed me, like, look. Like, it was like I could see the spelling of the name on a computer, like, pulled up. It, that was so like wow like right after I saw the baby the son that had been born Nigel means champion it also uh, there's other translations as well it means also whole or all that's another variant of the name. The whole number that God wants to collect is what the Bible talks about in the Apocrypha that has escaped from this realm. Also, Niel is also a variant. It still means champion. So it's pretty clear what God is saying. Nigel is also a variant. Okay. Revelations 12 and 1 says, A great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun. I believe two years ago we had this sign, the woman in Revelations, with the moon under her feet and on her head, a garland of 12 stars. I believe that's the representation of the 12 tribes that God is taking 12,000 from each child. I'm sorry, 12,000 from each tribe, which will equal 144K. Then being with child, she cried out in labor and in pain to give birth. And another sign appeared to heaven. Behold, a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his heads. His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth to devour her child. <clears throat> as soon as it was born, she bore a male child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. The child was caught up to God in his throne. The woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared by God that they should feed her there 1,260 days which is three and a half years. My ex-husband was patting the baby. The baby was already here. He was walking, walking up, you know, from the kitchen to the hallway of my home, patting the baby on the back. The baby had hair. He was precious little something. Um, he was comforted. He, he had obviously went up to heaven. That's why he was walking with him, patting him on the back. He was resting. He wasn't awoke, he was sleeping and being pat on the back. Now this dream is not about me. Me and my ex-husband do not have no relations and we are not together and I'm not pregnant. This dream, this dream was God showing us that the hour is late. Listen, the hour is late. This is a very, very, uh, good sign showing the timing of things the hour is late so I hope this encourages you 
with so much going on right now. I love you guys. Be blessed. If anything resonates, let me know.